it no go better for religion. The problem with many of us is that when we go born again, we are quickly eroded by the religion in the church. How do I mean? You go born again only to see yourself living the way the people you that were in your church they were living. Many things I did when I was growing up as a Christian, I was never taught by any pastor. I was only taught by the Holy Spirit by studying my Bible. The day I read my Bible to this point, that was the day I wrote a letter to my dad to inform him that I have been born again. So, you know, many of you in your church, some people claim that they are coming to church and they still go to Abalis, they still go to secret courts, they still, you know, you see, several stupid things that people do under religion. You know, go better for religion. Because this has not allowed you to see Christ. You just think Christianity, go and check. God is not a Christian, no. Hello? Christ is not a Christian. You know, the painful thing for me is that they call Christianity a religion. Now, let's leave it. Religion will end. Uh -huh. But don't end with religion. What we are dealing with here is Christ and you. Jesus never called anybody Christian. Probably you don't know that Christian is an alias. It's a nickname. Eh? It's a nickname. So, you know, the day I confessed to my dad, oh, come and see the joy. I was basking. I think that was the beginning of my boldness to preach Jesus anywhere. And you know, he, he sent for me and said, come home. And I went, he sent for my mom and he called a family meeting and they it was a talk of one. He was declaring to everybody, saying that this boy is saying this, this boy is saying this, this boy is saying this. He said, I gather all of you so that I would like him to see what he said to me in his letter. And he told me a story. He said, Say, all of you are here. He said, from my father's side, from my mother's side. Have you ever seen somebody who goes to church? They said, nobody. Uh -huh. So, it you about you. And he said, now, I just want you to declare. Let me know. Will you be following Islam? Because I bore you in Islam. I dreamed that you are going to be an Islamic cleric. So what do you say? And I said, thank you, sir. I said, thank God that God chooses to channel me into this planet through you and through this woman. I said, may I declare and boldly say to every family members and friends and acquaintances of my father, I have gone with Jesus. Jesus is Lord. I will serve him all throughout my life till I die. And that was the, where the Wala began. But uh, I did it publicly. And you know, he disowned me for nine years. We were in that battle. So what I'm telling you is that there is joy when you can stand to your parents. Just tell them, tell them your stand. I'm going with Jesus. This thing is, Jesus is not religion. No, 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 it's not religion. And if you are doing religion, you know, say, you will just tell yourself, no, I can't do this. So, because they are the one paying my school fees. So, they are the one who will do, who will marry for me. Oh. They are the one who is buying clothes for me. Oh. And, uh, and when you are saying all of that, you are just rubbishing yourself. You are just telling yourself that you are a useless person. The way to useless yourself is to deny what Jesus taught. The world despises a weak, cowardly, secret Christian. You can't boldly declare what you believe. They will despise you. Do you know the greatness of the assurance of heaven? I was speaking at his party, 1987. And I was speaking about heaven to a man. I was telling him that you need Jesus. So that when it comes to your life, heaven comes into your heart. And if you die, you go to heaven quickly. And the man put a question across and said, even you that you are talking. So if you die now, you are going to be. I say, yes, I'm going to heaven. And you know, my boss, who was a children teacher in the church, who I met in the church. And you know, the man said, keep shut your mouth. He said, even the Baba in the church, that's our pastor. He was referring to our pastor. Even our pastor cannot say categorically that he's going to heaven. I said, listen. I said, sir. I said, sir. Me. If I die now, I'm going to heaven. Because heaven is here. And I told the man, I said, Sir, I was never a coward since I came to Christ. Some of us were ordained by God and gifted to be preachers. But not all of us. But all of us are made to be witnesses for Jesus. So you can't say, I don't have a gift. It's not, we are not talking of gift here. 
we are talking of written. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, Jesus said, what I'm looking for witnesses, witnesses. Jesus does not even want Christian. What he wants is witnesses. Hello? What he wants is not Christians. What he wants is who? Witnesses. People will go all about to share their experience with Jesus. What Jesus has done for them. They, the apostle, no, 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 please don't be deceived and be looking for prophetic evangelism that you'll be going to houses and you'll be, you'll be sharing dreams and vision. Who is Biani Joseph in your house? Makapo Santa. Who is Kikeloma? And say that is the way to make Jesus really. No, 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 no. They went all about, they didn't display charismatic gift does not save. Jesus is not looking for membership. He's looking for witnesses. If you are a citizen of the kingdom, then you are to witness. You are to confess Christ. They went everywhere. In temple court, in house to house, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus was the Christ. They didn't teach current innovation. They didn't teach the ABC of making money. Please quit religion, no? Why are you going to Baptist? Because my parents are Baptist. Why are you a Catholic? Because my parents are Catholic. Why are you a, why are you a deeper life? Because my parents are deeper life. Why are you a the apostolic? My parents are the apostolic. And I'm also the pastor of the apostolic. I'm also a deaconess in the apostolic. Nonsense. We are dealing with citizen. Citizen. Citizen of heaven. I became a Nigerian not by any other thing, by birth. And the same way, I became the citizen of heaven by spiritual birth. So you have to testify. I can tell you the date that I got born again. Have you, have you seen Christ? Have you, have you had Christ? Have you handled? To, to handle means what personal testimony did you have as regard your relationship with Christ? Only one who will not publicly declare it on social media that prayer is calm. But they also believe prayer is calm by going to Abalist house, by joining secret court, yet they are still the patron and the metro in the church. Where do you see patron and metro? Do you have patron and metro in the Bible? You know, go better for religion. That the patron will not be wearing a bad, even though he's foreign to the kingdom. He's a stranger to the kingdom. And he'll be the one that will be asking, Pastor, how many of you have prayed and God have heard you? Ah. Okay. Will you say prayer is calm? Why some people say prayer is calm is that they said their fathers have been praying that Nigeria will be good. Nigeria will be good. They have been praying and praying and praying and praying. Now, you need to ask a simple question. What concerns God with Nigerian business? It is religion. You don't know what they call democracy. It's the government of the people, by the people. And for the, so where is God in it? That's why we say, you know, go better for religion. Politician that we that we destroy us, that we squander our resources, they will come to church to campaign. Is that what the church is meant for? You know, go better for religion. 